Hello friends. Uh, have you ever tried uh, changing password in Linux shell? Uh, working as a super user? Uh, I hope so. So you know how it's been done. Uh, you uh, use the passwd command with the uh, username uh, whose password you want to change and after that you type your password and you type password and it's done. Uh, there is uh, a shortcut uh, which I am going to show you. Actually, I am going to write a script, shell script, uh, which will, in which there will be the user as well as the new password. And if you run the script as a so root user, you can change the password only by running the script. <coughs> so, uh, let us uh, work with it. Uh, first, we will uh, show uh, just put a in, put an inbuilt uh, hard coded password inside the script. After that, we will just make a command line to change the password. Uh, I will, will actually say, enter the give the password as an arg argument to the shell script, uh, and it will be changed. So let's start with the script. Of course, it is a bash script. Here we will use four variables. One is root UID, which will store the root user ID. <coughs> Another is the wrong user. And the next one is uh, is no such user. And the fourth one is uh, success. So now we will check whether our current user uh, is root user. If it is, if it is, uh, if you are not, not logged into the uh, log, logged in as root user, then uh, the script will just exit from its execution, and no further task will be done because you need to be a root user to perform this task. So let us check. There is a variable called. Just a moment. Dollar UID. See, it's zero. So we will use this one here. The, if it is not equal to this one, uh, the variable we have taken, we, have, we can also put zero here, but we've just taken this one. Then echo you need to be logged in as root to perform this operation exit e wrong user I should put a dollar here and just a moment Else, just print a message echo continue with password change. We'll just take here two variables one is username. Here we are changing for username should run in, and another is 
new password that is say me now just let me say that my existing pass password is system s y s t e m so here i am changing the password and we'll just log in with the new password now just follow this one this is the most important part of this one dollar new password this command is so so effective pass wd std in dollar is any we look at this one you can use this command just in a straight line with the single command you can just change the password with this one see this is just a we are just this is a piping see this is a piping feature so what it is doing it is just uh, piping the new password the value of the new password the new okay it is passing to the std in okay standard input so it's just if you type a pass wd password new password then user name suppose shubhang the password is changed in the, the same thing okay let us try here let us try once i don't know it will work with this one but let's see this okay so it will not work like this because it's going to the going to study in so if you do this one what will happen suppose me then pipe pass wd study in okay now if you do it is shubhani and if i okay it's done because i am just logged in as root so it will not work here so let us try with another we'll just open the putty and try with the system password Yes, not working. So I'll just again go to my previous password. Okay, now it's done. I will enter the same password. Okay, I cannot show you because uh, it will not work here. So. so this is the command so just print a message password for dollar username change okay. exit zero just to do do one thing i just uh, put a wrong thing that here it will be not e wrong user it will be no such user because we are checking okay just pardon uh, it will be just wrong user here we exit zero uh, we have to actually this is a this is for the wrong user because it is supposed to be root user so we will just put another check here this check is this check is whether username exist okay so this uh, what is check uh, let us just try with the command 
माइनस क्यूब से शुभ फनी Okay, let's just continue with this one. Uh, uh, dollar question not equal to dollars success. And then go no such user exist exit now we will use this one this is an exit code I've just put it in a variable if I so I'll just copy this one and move here open change pass dot sh and I'm using the windows command prompt so it is done so let us save it set the permission executable change pass.sh so let us see how shukra nil nil okay okay else let's again check what happened just miss the then keyword uh, let us check ok so let us move and just put then then I hope it will work now ok so password being changed to nil try with the old password access denied new password Okay, so we'll just revert back the password. So before doing that, uh, let us do one thing. We'll just make a command line. Nothing to do, just putting dollar one here, and that's all. That will be all. So let us go here once again. Not here, here. So open the file, and I hope that with this will work dollar one ah oh. going back to the old password okay so again exit reconnect yes should reveal just a moment old password ok so it's done so let us again 
do some review on it. I've taken four variables, one root UID, you know, root user ID is always zero. And another is eRAM user, that is exit code is 65. The code is 65, exit 65, that exit from the shell script. The next one is no such user, if the user does not exist in the past wd file. You know there is a file called passwd. Get etc passwd. Okay, so if that does, if it does not find the user in this one file, that means uh, then it will just do nothing. That exit. Then uh, it is checking first. It is whether the your current login ID is root or root user. Whether you are logged in as root. If you if it is not equal to root UID, root UID that means not equal to zero then display the message and exit else continue with password change username shubhrami password dollar one which is the command line argument the first command command line now checking for the whether it exists in the past wd file if it does not succeed no such user exit exist exit no such user fi so uh, what is the when it is existing exiting it is it's showing an error error code so these are all error codes then this is the main command which changes the password echo new password dollar new password you know new password is a command line dollar one then pipe uh, which is sent to the std input std in this is the option given and for the for the username supranil here the username is given Echo password for username dollar username has been changed. So now we do another thing. Just change it as dollar one and change to dollar two. So we'll do the same thing here. Again, open this. Come here. Make it dollar one. Dollar two. What will happen if I do system? No such user exist. Okay. So we again go for Shubhunil and give as a changed again change it system. Okay. So we can we'll do for say I have a user called Oracle. Make it Ora. Change password for user Oracle changed. Again change reversing it back. So you see how we make it dynamic with the script, give the username password. So you can give it uh, make it hard coded in your script or uh, you can also send it command line so i prefer see this is for learning purpose learning purpose if you are working in a real world don't don't ever write a script for changing password because anyway it can be misused it can it can be run accidentally anything can happen because password is a very important part so do it so carefully <laughs> Test it on your machine, by personal machine, don't try it in some live server or something like that. So this is all about password script. I hope you like the video. Do press the like button. If you like it, you can subscribe to my channel. It's a PHRO 190776. Thank you very much. Goodbye.